In this After Effects tutorial, we'll be creating this cloudy looking terrain using a few simple effects and you can use this to create different kind of clouds, fly-throughs or anything else really. So I'm gonna start off with creating a new solid and we'll call this Fractal and we'll add a Fractal Noise to it. I'll set my contrast to 140 and up my brightness to maybe 10. Next I'll go into my evolution here and alt-click the stopwatch and type in time times 50 and it just gives us this continuous evolution without using a keyframe. Next we'll go into the transform here and we can scale this up or down depending on how we want to. We can adjust this later as well. But what I want to do here is set a keyframe for my offset turbulence and let's go to the end of my composition and just give it a left to right animation sort of like a scrolling through. Let's go ahead and pre-compose this layer and we'll move all the attributes and now we can start designing our effect. So first I'm going to add a vector blur to this and change my type here from neutral to direction fading. Let's bump up the amount to 40 and maybe increase the softness to 30. So as you can see we're already getting this interesting cloudy look here and it's sort of scrolling through and now we want to make this a 3D kind of effect. So we'll add a CC ball action and right now it's looking a little weird, but we fix this by setting our grid spacing to 1. And let's actually create a camera since this is a 3D effect. And we can start adjusting it just to see some depth here. So I'm just gonna scroll like this and go back into my CC ball action and give it a bit of a displacement here. So maybe minus 5. And once we move the camera now, you can see that we're getting some depth here maybe increase my displacement to minus eight. So right now we are experiencing some of these holes here, but a way we fix this is we bump up the ball size to let's say 150 and it covers most of them. Now, when you're working on this, I do recommend lowering the settings. So I'll decrease the ball size here and up my grid spacing, for example, then I can go into my camera here and place it like so. Then I'll hit P, hold down shift, hit A to bring up the point of interest and position and just add two keyframes here. And let's say we want to animate it going through here like so. I will also bring up the rotation here and give it some Z rotation on my camera. Now the cool thing about this effect is if we go back into this composition here and we can add a text layer for example and I'll center it to my composition so once we go back here, you can see that the text is updated within inside our terrain, sort of displaced around the edges of it. Now I can see that this is going a little too fast, so I'll go into my fractal here and decrease the offset turbulence, like so, so it's not too fast going from left to right. Then we'll go back in here and we can start bumping up the settings. So let's go ahead and set my grid spacing to zero and I'll bump up the size to 140 once again. All right, so this is how we basically get some more details here. So now let's say we wanna add some colors to this to give it a more interesting look. What we can do is add a color rama. And once we go into the output cycle, we can choose one of the presets here. So let's say Solarize Blue. And it's basically giving us these two colors here, depending on the fractal noise layer. So we can adjust this by moving these wheels here to achieve all kinds of look. For example, we have fire and smoke as well. And this is the look that we're getting with this one. So again, I would just go into here and add your own colors if you want to and achieve all kinds of looks. All right, so this is how you can easily create this type of effect. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.